And Bikini Bottom there lives a fry cook that is so great that no one can even come close. You probably guessed it, it's our favorite dude, Jim, the original Krusty Krab fry cook. You think I'm joking, but in his only appearance, he proves himself to be a living legend. In the original fry cook, the Krusty Krab gets a visit from Jim, who immediately starts to flex on SpongeBob. And to top it off, he even makes a Krabby Patty, one so good that it sends SpongeBob on a spiritual journey and has him begging Jim to teach him. Jim tries to teach SpongeBob, but surprisingly, it turns out to be too difficult for SpongeBob to get it right. Dozens of attempts flooding the toilet, and not one of them is good enough for Jim. SpongeBob realizes he isn't close to touching Jim and decides to resign, which of course doesn't happen because Mr. Krabs wouldn't dare pay the price it would cost to hire back Jim. This episode is funny to me because SpongeBob doesn't really get any relief. He doesn't prove he's better by having a bigger heart or anything like that. He's better because he's cheap and that's it. This episode completely tears down the idea that SpongeBob is the best fry cook, even if he beat Neptune, but it was cool to see what SpongeBob could be if he left that crustaceous cheapskate.